Hey everyone, it's Meg. And Gorball Starscream! That's a good volume. Nice. Um, Starscream. Yes. We are back with more first time watch of Clone Wars. Sorry it's been a minute. Things have happened, to say the least. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, seriously. You look like Andy Samberg I've right then. Yes, a lot of life stuff. Yes, but, same. Yeah. But uh, we're here, we're queer, and we're ready for, for more, more clear cheer. Star Wars stories. For more cheer. <laughs> for more cheer. For yeah. For more Clone fear. Wars. Um, for more. But we're super hyped, and this is called campaigns. the. Okay. The. The. Capture of Nate Newt, Gunray. Newt Gunray. Newt Gunray. Nathaniel. Newt Gunray. XOXO. Gossip girl. <laughs> he's um, a he's a he's a um a toy. I know no. he's the one with the voice, mm -hmm. the accent. The accent. <laughs> the Trade Federation guy. The, yeah, I was very hung up on, but <laughs> the Nemo George Nemodian? Lucas gonna George Lucas. He's, yeah. Yeah, the Nemodians have uh <laughs> have oddly specific accents. Yeah, yeah, new Gunray. He's the head of the Trade Federation, and uh, the Kato Nemoidians don't like him, but then other people do. I've been reading a lot of, a lot of legends, so let's let's go. You're a legend. You're a legend. You're That's si not. You're, you're... you're si <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. You were just well. We were what? just looking at pictures of Manny. What's his face? And he's like the newest Sith. So. Um. I know people are so the excited. They were like, Sith. move over, Anakin. Like. And no, been, move over, Anakin. For hotness and like desirability factors, he um, hasn't killed any children yet. So like, wouldn't you be glad that I'm simping over him? I don't know anything. I just saw gifts. I just saw pictures and gifts of his movements. Already, you know, okay. Anyways, this is season one, episode eight, by the way. Oh yeah. So excited! I love Star Wars. <laughs> Heroes are made by the time. Yes, they are. The Clone War threatens the unity the of the Republic. The Clone War. Oh, because it's season one. More worlds succumb to the seductive lure of the... He is seductive. His planet is in crisis. His people are starving. <laughs> He's a very old family friend. He's got such boomy energy. He does. <laughs> you should be accompanied by a clone escort. This is a mission of peace. I put my faith in diplomacy. Unlike we you. We can't solve all of our problems by throwing troops at Yeah. Them. You should no need to worry, <laughs> Chancellor. As resumptive. <laughs> <of resentment. laughs> resumptive? I think this you is. No need to is be his worried. name Ahmed? I think Ahmed, this is Ahmed him. Boss. I think this is him. Okay. Yes, Ahmed actually. Best. I will follow your advice, Chancellor. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's cool to see her like actually learn to not do that because Jar Jar is actually very useful. Mm -hmm. He might be abrasive and offensive. Whoa, this is where the Rodians live. Look, it's a swamp planet yeah, just like home. Exactly. It's a hot to get going. Yes. I need you to watch over 3PO. You know how he always gets himself into trouble. Trouble? Me? Really? <laughs> Misa understands my lady. Oh, so sweet, Padme. I'm sorry you manipulated. I think Palpatine knows how useful Jar Jar is. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, Uncle Ono, you are so sweet. Uncle. The Separatist leader, Newt Gunray, Ugh. has promised to support us with a very oh. generous relief effort. And you know Palpatine's back there, like, blocking votes that's and why, shit. That's why he doesn't want George there either. Afraid I have already done what I must for my people. Mm. What? I should have that's known. Why, and that's why he didn't want her to have protection. To live in fear is no life at all. Mm-hmm. Wow, opposite of Anakin. Opposite of Darth Vader. <laughs> How rude. How rude. <laughs> He's a swamp dweller just like me, sir. Yeah. I will convince them of our good fellowship. You are so Jar Jar, too. I don't think they're quite like your friends on Naboo. Hey, hey, trust Jar Jar. Trust in Jar Jar, just like you trust in the Force. <laughs> I love the dance that comes with yeah. it too. 
I don't think that requires translation. <laughs> oh. Wait for me! Uh, yeah, you have to protect C-3PO and not let him get into trouble. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Great whip, you're squashing my circuits. <laughs> he left them out of it. Uh, you sli uh, how <laughs> slippery is Jar Jar? I feel like he's just slippery by nature. Oh my yes. god. Yes. Oh, oh I love this. Hang on, music. It's 3PO. Oh. oh. What did he call him? 3CO. <laughs> I like that. Oh. Perfect. He's saving you in his own way. Wow. The force. Is strong love, with Jar Jar, okay. I, I love how the Force, he just lets the Force control him. Yes. And he probably doesn't even realize it. Uncle Anno, you can stop Aww. this madness. Keep moving, prisoner. She's so done being a prisoner. Yeah. Like, oh, I love his eyes. They look painted. Headed for Misa? <laughs> yes, you saw <laughs> Headed for Misa? You knew he was feeling desperate trying <laughs> to say that. Can't bear to watch. <laughs> he can't close his eyes. Jar Jar. Oh no. Jar Jar's been killed. Okay, that's no quite. Something like this would happen. No. Uh, he's so, he's he so always dramatic. jumps to the worst conclusions. What a horrible way to die. He is the embodiment <laughs> of anxiety. Yes. So great. <laughs> now he's gone. Forever. Creepy. <laughs> be so okay. <laughs> If you've finished messing around, <laughs> I need help. And then he goes straight back to condescending. Like, that's yeah. the best part. He's like, I miss them so much. <laughs> Just go pick him up again. <laughs> that's the end of our ship. Typical. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just crushing an entire <laughs> ship. <laughs> oh, my God. Was there anyone on board? I hope it's worth it to you. Ooh, I love that. She's sassy till the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you break now? Misa doing nothing. <laughs> I love their relationship. Oh. Who are you supposing this belongs to? <laughs> I just love that they brought him back so much for this show. My lady gave us very specific instructions. He's so frustrating here. sometimes. Oh, fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks. He wants to have and try and save her. Yes. They so won't be recognizing me. You can't be serious. <laughs> Come on, three so. We can do it. Yay. I have a very bad feeling about oh, this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love no. Jar Jar. I feel like George has said that he had so much like planned for him in the movies. And, and, and then he, he probably just got to do it in. Oh, in this, yeah. And they're actually a good team. Yeah. Look, a Jedi. No. We're doomed. <laughs> Where's a <the> Jedi? <laughs> I do believe they mean you. <laughs> Kill the Jedi. Don't shoot. We surrender. We surrender. <laughs> we surrender. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> they don't give a shit about you. Jar Jar. Jar Jar. They're so slow. Ooh. Nice. He slipped through this grate and went underwater. <laughs> Classic Jar Jar. So he actually slipped through. Oh my God. <gasps> King. He like literally slipped he, through. Like you were talking about how slippery he is. He's ultimate I'll just balance, be going now. Balance in Droid the force. Scum to the dismantling center. Oh. Um, dismantling center. Wait, wait, I'm innocent. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Look at him. Just meditating. Beautiful shots. Oh. He's used to it. Never mind. <laughs> uh Used to it, maybe. Roger, 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 Are you roger, roger, made roger, roger, for under? Roger, roger. Sorry. Roger, 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 roger. Kevin, 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 Kevin. There's a bad boogie monster down there. You betcha. Do you hear the difference? I don't. I don't think he did his voice for everything, but for this, he did the original actor. Did he? I'm pretty sure he read that. She has done this before. <laughs> Hurry before the battle droids figure out what's happening. <laughs> I love her. And it's exactly how she got out of Geonosis. That hairpin in her boot. Yeah. Oh. oh. Wow. Beautiful. I love the music. He's like, yeah, he's climbing. Wow. Maybe he is a Jedi. Has anyone ever tested him for force sensitivity? No, but do they? You've, you've, they've. They do. There are theories that he's yeah, I believe like it. the actual Sith Lord and shit. Oh no, I don't like that one. I don't like it either. But the Senator Amidala's execution. 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 <laughs> you, you are under my protection now, and protection. you will do what I demand of you. Demand. By protection, you mean control. 
Be on alert for that Jedi. He is our only hope. Mm. That's cute. And she escaped, sir. <laughs> escaped! It's the Jedi! <laughs> no. He's just wearing a robe. Mm. And it's springy. Love that. Yay! <laughs> Is hard jobbing. Right? Mm hmm. Yes, Slippery Jar Jar. Jar Jar. That's the best. That is so useful. He's got Fucking high dexterity, bomb. but yes. and luck. And acrobatics. I feel like luck is his like top skill. That's Master Chief. <laughs> He's lucky. The Jedi has been spotted in the South Pole. Let's move. Roger, roger. They're so stupid. They're so I think that was rather clever. It was. Good job. Good job. For your contribution. Your personality is growing, 3PO. But th what do you call him? 3SO? or 3SO. 3SO? I love that, actually. You can call me whatever. I love his nicknames. He's just, like, smiling. I know. Swimming away from this torpedo. Uh-oh. <laughs> you can hear him. You can see him screaming. <laughs> I love her so much. She's awesome. And I especially love the Clone Wars because, like, she she was so vulnerable with Anakin at the end, but that's her weakness. Mm -hmm. She has escaped and beaten so many others as a diplomat and also just as, like, physically a badass woman, yeah. you know? It protected him! You saw okay, Boggy? You saw saved me. You saw my new pal <laughs> Oh. <laughs> How could he be a Sith Lord? There's no way. Not again. Oh, poor Chacha. Cha -cha. He was always such a misfit. And he loves him so much, you can tell. Like that's you can tell 3PO loves someone when he goes that hate and love so fast. He's dead. Not again. <laughs> It's the Je 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 it's Jedi. That Jedi is going to attack. <laughs> what? <laughs> that Jedi has summoned a monster. Summoned? <laughs> I mean, he did. He did. He fucking did. He's just a master of of like luck and animal all handling. all over my body. Yes, like like fucking um Ahsoka. Yeah. When she well, was a baby. Yeah, and he's like even luckier. <laughs> I love that. Oh, I love his colors. Yes. I made a very good friend. Yes, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Uncle Anno, I think mm -hmm. it's time to tell she the first story about our little secret. How you never meant to leave the Republic. And how you truly care what's Aww. best for your people. Forgiveness. And you are under arrest. Yes. My message got through. Yes, it did. <laughs> You're either the bravest or the most foolish Jedi. I have ever met. I'm Bombad. just a Gungan, and I don't think I'm either. <laughs> Get out of here! Uh, especially you, Representative. That's why you didn't want him to go. Because he's he's an he's not Can native to that planet, but it's exactly the same as the Republic his that should be asking similar. your forgiveness, my old friend. Oh, yes. Far too often we seriously. forget that our most important allies are not always the most powerful. <laughs> That was one of my favorites. Let's see if his name pops up. But that was on IMDb. Yeah, there. Oh, okay. man. Awesome. Um, and then it's just the next two. But I mean, I could probably talk so long. I don't really want to. I just think I honestly think a lot of people don't take him seriously. But I think Palpatine is smart enough to take Jar Jar seriously. Palpatine is is he is he xenophobic? Um, Plagueis and Sidious yeah, and stuff? Yeah, he does see... I, that I, it's less than? There are certain species that okay. are... I don't, I don't know about... Um, like, because the only... The, the reason that Plagueis even takes him under his wing is because he's human and he needs... He knows that, like, the Sorry, I meant world Sidious. at large... Yeah. I, I, I don't know how xenophobic he is. Okay. Like, he, he is to a degree, but he more just wants power. I think and that... Yeah, that... he is. He is, because he... All of his, like... Grand admirals and shit are like human or close mm -hmm. to human. I think. Oh, that's true. But I do think there was a fear in that. Well, I think he primarily wanted to isolate Padme, but I wouldn't put it past Palpatine to also see how Jar Jar has helped in situations because even with, um, oh gosh, I think it was the one of the final battles in Phantom Menace 
right? He was Jar Jar was in that one. Jar Jar was like helping along and with I, baby Annie. And I think that he on purpose was just like, leave him there because I do like he could have messed it up, but also he can help. He, he, he can relate to them. He's also he's from Naboo and the Gungans are native to Naboo. So I think mm. he does look down on Gungans because I, if mm. I remember in Plagueis, he he did okay. like want there was this whole thing about like Gungans being like savage and inferior. Yeah, and it was like I believe the human. It. That's why it's so sweet to see Padme respect him yeah. and also C-3PO, you know, ultimately. But C-3PO is also just such a protocol droid. Yeah. And but he, um, yeah. also uh, Qui-Gon, like the way that he talks to his little city is his leader is king or whatever. Yeah. And he was silly with Jar Jar, but Obi-Wan actually looked down on Jar Jar yeah. and was rude about him. But the 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 characters that like actually take him seriously. It's like Anakin. I love that. And yeah, because he is actually powerful. Like they're like, oh, he's a Jedi and he summoned that. Well, he he actually did befriend that. The slug felt compelled to protect him. I think <laughs> that I don't necessarily think that he is strong in the force in the sense that like he, he can control, can control it, it mm -hmm. but the force is strong yes. with him. They, the force loves him. It, yes, it loves I him. Agree. And that's why I don't think he's a Sith Lord yes, or a no, Jedi. No, no. <laughs> like, first of all, I think he's not like, aware of his power. Well, and, and, and also if he if he were powerful, he'd have to be powerful enough to conceal it better than Palpatine concealed his force powers. Yes. And that's and hard. I believe that like Qui-Gon would have been able to catch on because he he caught on with Anakin so early. And he probably like, saw like towards the end, you know, um, that's why he kept him around. It's like, I think he knew that he, the living force could work through him. And maybe Qui-Gon is kind of like helping him. Yeah. And like, as a, a force ghost, like guiding him and help, you know? I Maybe. think I think he's a vessel. I think he's a a very important vessel, and I love that kind of stuff because I've always said the droids are my favorite. I feel like it's intentional to have like even just the scenes of C three PO and R two in the junkyard being like sold for scraps. Like who are the characters that are actually taking you know non humans, non living things seriously? That was Anakin for a really long time. Yeah. Darth Vader like destroys the vacuum droids all the time. Yeah. I call them vacuum droids. I don't know. They're cleaning droids. Um, but I think that the the droid struggle and then also so quote unquote savage like aliens and species that might seem goofy or they can't. He's like, um, he reminds me of a kid with ADHD. Mm -hmm. Like he reminds me of a neurodivergent person. And people make fun of him, but he's actually like very smart and capable. And yeah. I just think it's like a beautiful honoring of the other. Someone who might not fit into the standards and know all the social etiquette, but like his hidden powers. It doesn't ha even have to be Jedi, Jedi in the cloak or go formal training. He just knows he made a friend. He kissed him on the, the slug on the cheek. It's so sweet to he's me. I just love that. He's very confident and trusting. And I feel like his his he's not he's he's very brave he's yes. extremely brave he's never really been scared and no he loves his people his friends he loves his friends yeah. and um it makes me appreciate you because you've always you know taken neurodivergent people seriously like i mean you grew up with them your aunt Susie, right mm -hmm. Or you call her Aunt Susie? Yeah, she's, she's your just granddad. Susie. She's, she's, just Susie. <laughs> she's not my granddad. I love she's her. just my aunt. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's Mamma's daughter. Mm -hmm. No. But she's uh she's so funny. That's who I think of and I'm like, they're like the purest form of life. Like yeah. I really feel like they're the purest form of spirit. So if I feel that way about Susie, you know, looking at Jar Jar, I think he would be closest to the force. Mm -hmm. without having to be force sensitive or train as a Jedi. He just allows it to move through him. I feel like Qui-Gon learned from him. Yeah, well, and, and Qui-Gon didn't like him at first. He was like, he was the ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Like, get away from me. Like, you you I need to fell on me. And and because he, he starts, he like accidentally saves him. Not accidentally, but like I Jar Jar's about to, to be killed. And then Qui-Gon saves him. I would and, love to and, read and, the novel and, version. And, uh, 
Jar Jar basically like a Wookiee like swears a life debt to him. Oh um, yeah. So I think it's like oh yeah. And, and so he he warmed up and like learned the value. And Qui Gon, I I feel like I reference him as some like perfect person, but he had to learn so much. He lost his patience with Obi Wan all the time. Mm -hmm. In uh, Master and Apprentice, especially, he was like so frustrated with him. And he he recognizes he'll like retreat into himself and he knows his flaws. And I think it's okay, even in death, to describe Qui Gon's flaws. Yeah. You know, along with his his beauty and his skill. <laughs> and I think that's so true. I think he warmed up to him too. Um, yeah. But him. Padme has always respected she and has. loved Jar Jar. He's, I love her, guys. He's such a, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's so loyal to her. It's this is beautiful. a Jar Jar Stan account, okay? Sure. No Jar Jar haters, all right? No Jar Jar slander. If anyone is rude about Jar Jar, I know instantly how you treat the different people in your life. Disabled, neurodivergent, even just non-conforming to society. Yeah. I know exactly how you treat them. Sorry, I'm sassy because of Padme. Right. Three, two, one, go.